Today is another Artisan Journal Prompt 2024. This is on your favorite animal. Well, went to the eye doctor the day and I don't have any, I have any eye makeup on. So I thought I'd talk to you a little bit while I was putting that on first. So, you know, when you go to the eye doctor, you don't want to have a bunch of, uh, I put my eyebrows on a little bit. You know, as you get older, I never did have dark eyebrows anyway. So here goes. I just thought I'd talk to you a little bit. I'm not going to put a lot on. I'm home the rest of the day. This has been a very busy week. You know, my son is still in the hospital. I'd like to ask you to say a prayer for him. They think they're zeroing in. You know, it's it's uh, something to do with the medicine gets got a lot of confusion. I, I guess I'd say it like that. And it's not his normal state. You know, this is my older son. He has, he is such a smart, and he really knows everything that's going on, but his mind is confused about other things. And so I don't even know them saying it right. Keep working on different, trying to adjust his medicine and, and getting his leveled out. This happened about seven years ago. Gradually, it, um, that clear, seemed to clear up. And so now he's dealing with this other. We hope and pray it gets better soon in his life. He had a five-way bypass. So he's had three back surgeries. He had neck surgery. So a lot of, lot of things going on in his life. We know God can still heal today. One more little thing. And we'll get started on my artisan journal. So, just a little bit of this will be the end of it. I have ate out more this week than normal at the hospital. They have such good food at the hospital. I, I love it whenever I'm there at lunchtime. I've had butternut squash soup. Oh my goodness, that was so good. And I had... Um, I've had their veggie burgers two or three times, and they make them so good. I like it with the sourdough bread, and they toast it. And of course, they put more butter on it than I would at home. <laughs> but usually I eat only a half of it, and then I bring the other half home. And yesterday, I got to meet my friend, Laura, you know, the one that gave me, gives me all my clothes, and the president's fan that I show whenever I t talk about the presidents. And she had been not feeling good for quite a while. And we got to have for lunch yesterday. And we had it at Panda Express. So I have leftover Panda Express. And then today, daughter-in-law and I went in the cafeteria. And we had... Uh, she had some kind of curry, but I just had their Greek potatoes. It was almost like fries with uh, feta cheese and all the seasoning and a piece of naan bread. Of course, I brought some of that home, so I'm having leftovers. Okay, that's going to count. I hope I got it even to the subject. This week was our, our 45th week of our artisan journal. Boy, it's coming along, do you know? There's 52 weeks in this whole year. Our um, prompt this week was favorite animals. And by the way, if I didn't say this, let me just go right in here and say this. This is hosted by Patty at Life with Patty. You can go over and check and see what she posts and what everyone else in this awesome collaboration post, there are so many girls that have um, joined in this collaboration and they all have such a wonderful take on it. All of them are different, but you know, if you've followed me at all, you know what I'm going for. I'm going for, I hope this will be a memory in my family someday, and I think it will be. Because this book is so thick. Look how thick it is. And then 
it already is. Hey, tomorrow is the day we meet with our Northern California girls for our lunch. And um, we're looking forward to it so much. And we'll be telling you about that later. I'm sure every one of the girls that will be coming will be telling about it. Their channels also. I'm hoping to get do another video of what I take them. We all tend to take a little, some kind of little gift. Nothing that hopefully that people go out and buy. I didn't buy a thing. I've made a few things that I, I will be taking and I will be showing you that also in another video. It was on animals and I wanted animals that was in our family. Well, I got my, my albums out. And as I've told you before, the last few years, we don't develop pictures like we used to. And I'm sure maybe a lot of you don't. And I wish sometimes I did do that, but I did, you know, I don't do so much now. So these are mostly older pictures of some of our animals. These are animals that we had in our own family. You know, I don't have any at the present. You've heard me talk about different times of different animals that we've had or different or that I didn't have any. So let me tell you about this. This is my husband and one of our doggies. That was Freddie. I couldn't hardly remember. I'm glad I wrote a note on. I wish I would have on all of them. That's what I told you before is write a note. And I wrote Rich and Freddie at it was 2002 so that was a long time ago that was one of our dogs that we had freddie and let's see this one right here i think that that is freddie also i think <laughs> you know after so long you forget what uh we had at least three that we you know had for quite a length of time and that this one freddie is both pictures now, right here, this was another dog we had for a few years. This was Nikki, and Nikki looked like a, like a Dalmatian. He's spotted, and see how he's up in that tree? We didn't put him up there. He jumped up in that tree, <laughs> and that was we had to go grab the camera, and that's what we did. Our last dog that we had, Kirk, that was when he was a puppy. And he, we had him several years. Now I want to tell you about, I think it was Kirk. It was one of our dogs. One day my husband was missing his keys. And he knew good and well he hadn't lost them somewhere else, but we could not find them. We looked and looked and could not just, I mean, it was like, where in the world are these keys? So we used to keep a dog house on our porch and one of us got to thinking we better look in that dog house we looked in the dog house and they had evidently my husband had dropped his keys and the dog had found them and took them in his dog house to play with the keys and they had two marks all over it but they still work thank the lord for that my mom loved cats she had was patches and i think this one was patches and um, even when she went to her uh, assisted living, she was able to take her cat. And that was a lot of company to her. So when this one, I have a little note on it. You know, this is Rochelle that lives in North Dakota. She's the one of, that has three children, my uh, daughter's daughter. And that was their dog. Their dog's name was Maddie. And that was one of the visits we went back there. And I wrote on there, note the, um, the purple chair. You can barely see it in the corner by her foot. And the, the red gale had covered those. And then she had made the pillow. It fixed it all up. And that's Maddie, their dog. They loved their Maddie dog. I was trying to remember which dog this one was. This is my mama. That was before, you know, a few years ago, several years ago, even before she went into the, the assisted living home. And that's my niece, Teresa, you know, the piano playing brother, his daughter. And that was 
one of their dogs, their beloved dogs, who is now be gone on. Sad to say, you know, our animals leave us. This one really was, um, it was my Barbara, my sister, her sister-in-law. We had went up to uh, Washington and stayed at her house. And she had the most beautiful flowers and that beautiful cat. And it was just a gorgeous the way it was sitting in the window. And I'd snapped a picture of it and developed it. I think I had double prints where I gave her some favorite animals that I wrote down. And the very last one here is a picture that I colored. <laughs> this was, I mean, I have colored some. I haven't showed too many of them. But this is one I colored in color crayon. And um, I just thought, well, I'll just put that there. That's my artwork. Okay, you guys, that's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure and come back tomorrow, if at all possible. I will have a live of uh, gospel music from 3, 3.30 or thereabouts, if it all works out. And if you would, say a prayer for my son. And I'll look forward to seeing you every day. Because I'll have a video also, you know, as long as I can. And I have something to say. God bless you so much, and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.